Well, if you're picking horses strictly by name, how about Call for Rain, who's by storm damage out of the mare rainproof and do the reward, about enough to buy an umbrella, $5 to win, $240 to place, and even more, $260 to show with Jaguar Spur, the number two horse who was uh, second in the photo, $220, $240. Curra was third at $540 to the winner's circle and Kenny Rice. And with me is the happy owner, trainer, and driver, Clint Galbraith. Congratulations, Clint. Yeah, thank you very much, Kenny. He, was, he went a big trip, like he always does. And he had a trip that was a little rough outside. He had to go three wide, get outside of Indian Alert, and then made that big stretch drive. Yeah, I let Indian Alert in, and I figured, well, I'll get a little cover, but he couldn't keep up, so I had to get three deep, so I go around three deep so I could be up in contention at the head of the stretch. As we take a look at the replay once again, Clint, just some of your thoughts as you're turning for home and, and as you uh, felt you had your horse in a pretty good position, even though that you were out. Outside. I thought he was good, but, uh, you know, Jaguar Spur has been racing great, and I didn't know how much he had left, but this horse never stops coming, and, and uh, if there's a chance, he'll get there. And the last quarter turned in in 28 seconds. That's a pretty good quarter tonight. Not a bad quarter at all. How much did the, the scraping of the track affect tonight in the time? Well, uh, probably a second, but I, I want to thank the, the track for scraping it off because it, made, it sure made a big difference. One thing that you have talked about is going to Lexington next month at the Red Mile and try for that 149-1 and one that you set with Nyatron. Yeah, then we're going to take a shot at that. I think we can do it. Good luck. Thanks, guys. Congratulations to Clint Galbraith, the man who drove Call for Rain home to victory tonight. Dave? The last half in 55-2, and two, and Call for Rain, the official winner. We'll be back with more from Scioto Downs. Stay with us. We'll be back after these messages. Let's take a look at the finish from top to bottom. All seven horses that did compete. Sherwood Abe was a late scratch. Call for rain in 53 and 2, 153 and 2. That equals the track record for all age pacers. Jaguars per second and a heartbreaker. Curl was third. Rumpus Hanover followed by Golden Greek, Indian Alert, and quite a sensation, seventh and last. And Stan, you said that Rumpus Hanover would have a, some bearing on the finish, and you were right. Well, the horse can leave, and he won a very strong race for Lucian Fontaine, who, of course, is a veteran and a very heady driver. The man of the hour is Clint Galbraith. A year ago, when he won the Breeders' Crown for three-year-olds over Run the Table, he said then that he thought this horse might be good enough to break Nia Tross's world record, and he should know better than anyone else. There were a lot of skeptics, but he, of course, was the man who drove Nia Tross. He still thinks he can, and so do we. And let's go now to Kenny Rice in the winner's circle. And with me is Clint Galbraith's better half barber. Congratulations. Thank you. One of the co-owners of Call for Rain. I know you were very impressed with the horse coming in here tonight. Did you expect this kind of race? Yes, he's that kind of a horse. He can give you that kind of a race. And I guess you also expected the fact that Indian Alert would be there and, of course, Jaguar Spur. Oh, sure. There are two toughest competitors always. You and Clint had talked about earlier coming here, of course, and winning at Saudi Downs and then looking ahead now down the road to Lexington. Yes, we, it, with God willing, in the weather, we'd like to go to Lexington and try for Nia Truss's record. Well, you were right up close and personal when all that was happening. Do you think this is a horse capable of going 149 flat or better? Well, Clint sits behind him and Clint trains him and Clint says he can do it. Congratulations, Barbara Galbraith. Thank you. Back to you, Dave. And let's take a look at the schedule of upcoming events. We're in Batavia, New York, a week from tonight. And then after that, we have stops on the Breeders' Crown Circuit at Hazel Park in uh, Detroit, Michigan. And then Rosecroft Raceway outside of Washington. And up in Canada, where the three-year-old Colts on the pace will be in action at the end of October. And then we'll wrap it all up with a trip to the Meadows and two, week at, two weeks at Pompano Park in Florida. And Stan, the, the time was really exceptional this evening. Track superintendent John Betts and James Nolan, his assistant, deserve tremendous credit. This is a very fast trying track. We want to congratulate 87-year-old Charlie Hill, who is the impresario here, general manager Bob Steele for having a wonderful record Breeders' Crown. Now what about next week at uh, Batavia? Who's the big mayor up there? Well, Scenic Regal last week, when a, she'd gone five more steps, she beats Mac Lobel, so she's my choice. Thanks for being with us. So long from Scioto Downs. Be sure to be with us next Friday live at 11 p.m. Eastern for the Breeders' Crown Mare Trot from Batavia Downs, Batavia, New York. Eleven of the best trotting mares in the country will compete for a purse of over $268,000 right here on ESPN next Friday night.